smile. What are you doing? Come back. Hello friends, how are you doing? If you're new here, my name is Courtney. If you're not, hi friends, I've missed you and I'm coming to you live from my new town home. So I really wanna give you guys a tour of my new town home. That's what I have been doing for the past couple of days is moving in. So you guys know that I used to live in a one bedroom apartment and I loved my one bedroom apartment, but it was so cramped and I just truly thought that a one bedroom was enough space. One of the town homes became available in the complex that I live in and I was like, Say less, we're moving in there. So I went from a one bedroom apartment to a three bedroom townhome. I had to get stairs for my kittens. Kyle, where are you going? You got stage fright? Riley needed stairs, okay? She was getting chunky. I didn't want to admit it. I don't want to body shame my daughter, but I want her to live forever. And she's gonna live forever. When she goes, I go, okay? I got her stairs so she can exercise and she's been running up and down her little belly. <laughs> I wanted to give you guys just a tour and then also I wanted to go over all of the stuff launching for Alphalete this Saturday, April 8th at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, PST time. Code FRIENDS saves you 10% on all of your orders and directly supports me. Yeah, we have a new King collection and then we have new Amplify colors that are coming out. I'll just go over all my sizing with Alphalete, all that jazz, it'll be fun. Well, let's start the tour. Okay, so starting off, we have the front door with a little window there. Kyle and Riley like to sit right there. And then when you turn, you see the staircase of darkness that goes to the upstairs bedrooms. And then if you walk down the hall, I'm gonna need to get a shoe rack. Oh, also just letting you guys know, nothing is done yet. Like I just unpacked the things I have, but there's a lot of things I need to buy. This is a two car garage to the right. We have this cute little half bath. So if you really gotta go, you don't have to run up the, all the stairs to get to the bathroom. And then after we exit that hallway, we have the living room. Oh, why is this a funny color? Okay, well, it's not normally blue in here. This is the kitchen. Look at it, it's so cute. We have an outdoor patio right here and the desert is literally right there. I'm not gonna let the cats out there because I don't want Riley to get you my coyote. This is the kitten's litter box, <laughs> their whole setup. The kitchen was the last thing for me to set up and I literally stayed awake until like 2.30 in the morning, putting away all of the boxes. Like, don't go in my garage because it's a mess. Do you wanna see my ghost cabinet? Let me show you. This was the first thing I set up before I unboxed anything. Oh, la la la, la la. Ah, there's a, oh, that's not a bug, that's lint. You see this? This is my protein cabinet and, ow! Am I bleeding? And this is everything else. Oh my gosh, also I need to take my glow, I forgot. Okay, I'm doing a challenge for ghosts and it's 60 days of glow where we're taking glow every single day. This is one of the things I've been taking with my like hair routine. So I oil my scalp and I take glow because it helps with your skin, your hair, and your nails. It's a trifecta, if you will. They used to just have a powdered form, but now they have a pill form, which I love more because I just don't, that's too many things to drink. Cause I used to be on my glow game and then I fell off of it. But a pill is so easy to take. I just take it with my well in the morning. <laughs> Um, click the link down in the description if you guys want to join. We could just, you know, we could do it together. 60 days of glow. So our skin glows, our hair glows, our nails glow. I want to glow in the dark. Oh my God, I forgot that wasn't water. I missed you guys. And then here's my living room, my same couch. Oops, don't zoom in. I'm gonna get, I already ordered things from Ikea, but I'm gonna put a giant mirror right there. My TV, I wanna mount it eventually. Also, there was no other place to put my vacuum, so it's just there. I really want to get a bar cart and put it there and have cute little like drink setups. like. So when I have friends, I can come over. But yeah, this is my kitchen. Kyle, let's go upstairs. Come on. Come on, I gotta show you something. Come here, show the people. Come on, let's go. I gotta open the door for you. See, he follows me. <laughs> my legs are about to be so freaking jacked from all these stairs. It's gonna be so swole. Okay, so once you reach the top of the stairs, we have the master right to the left. And then further left, we have two other bedrooms around this corner. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so embarrassed with how tired I am. Oh my gosh. I see white. This is the laundry room. <sighs> Don't leave lights on. I didn't want to pay for it. Okay, and then walking into my master. Here it is. Again, this is probably not the final product of anything, but this is just what I have so far. Would you like to explain to everyone what you think of the new place? She said, finally, my mom got me what I freaking deserved. If only she'd get rid of Kyle. Joke's on you, Riley, I'm gonna get a dog. Oh, and then I also have a balcony right here that's connected to my master, and it goes out and you can see like, the desert right there. Kyle loves going out there. I really have to supervise them now because I'm not trying to have them get eaten by coyotes. Then we come over here. Here's my closet. Okay, you guys, I have three freaking closets. I'm so excited about it. So these are my regular clothes. I haven't organized this side yet, but here are my t-shirts, jackets, all of my pants, my like cute regular clothes, and then things over there. And then here's my master bathroom. Honestly, this is my favorite room. I love it so much. I just love a cozy bathroom and I love all the green. This is what I have so far. 
so cute okay so this flooring in there is actually i got them from ikea and it's technically outdoor flooring i don't know how long that's gonna last like if it's gonna like get mildewy or not but you know we're vibing with it for now because i like the way it looks got little shelves i put little plants in there i'm a plant gal but they have to be fake plants because i can't keep real plants alive kitten's little water fountain parkour cool oh Ah, she was on the bed. <laughs> and this is my bed. This is a king size bed, just for reference. I got it from Ikea. If you're an OG, you know that I have had this tapestry since like before I started social media. I got this tapestry sophomore year of undergrad. And you walk down the hall this way. This is the first room or the second room. This is gonna be my office right here. It is not done at all. I wanna make it a real vibe in here. I wanna get a neon sign that says hi friends and put it on the grass wall. Also the closet in here. This is my alphalete closet. This is where I'm gonna build all my alphalete stuff, put all of it here. I'm gonna go through the new stuff that's coming out. Um, I have my jackets over here, leggings down here, shorts up here, sports bras here, workout shoes. Oh, I love it. This is where all the magic is gonna happen. All the editing is gonna go down. I have big plans for this room. I want it to be really cool lighting. So when I'm editing at night, it's like a vibe in here, you know, with like cool neon lights and things like that. Also, we have these built-ins right here and I thought it would be really, really cool to start a joggers wall because I have so many joggers. These aren't even all of them. Okay, and then down the hall, we have the third bedroom right here and this is another bathroom. I have not done anything with this one yet. I have big plans for this room. This is gonna be my hair studio. <laughs> Hear me out. You guys know how much I do my hair? Every time I do my hair, my bathroom is a disaster. There's hair everywhere. I just, I can't do anything. What I did was I ordered um, a desk, a vanity, all of these things from Ikea. They're gonna come, I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna make like a legit studio, like with nice lighting. I'm gonna have a mirror set up. I'm gonna have a whole rack where I hang my little hairs on it so I can do my hair and I can like actually do in-depth tutorials. And all I have to do is press play on my camera. Don't have to do anything else. It's just always set up. And then across the hall, we have our other full bath. Nothing is organized in here at all. There's my old shower curtain. It's just the bathroom. Okay, you guys, here we are in my office. We're gonna go through the Alpha Elite launch that is happening on Saturday, but I'm gonna just go through my sizing with you guys really quickly. I'm a thick gal now. I used to be a small, and then I started wearing smalls and I was like, God, they're making smalls a lot tighter these days. Until I realized I just wasn't a small anymore and I put the mediums on and I was like, oh wow, these fit. Start off with my waist. Give or take a couple inches because it is literally the afternoon now. So I did eat things already. So, you know, you, your body fluctuates, but whatever. I'd rather show you a try and haul after I've eaten things than when I first wake up in the morning because I feel like that's more realistic, you know? It's like, I want these clothes to fit when I'm bloated too. <laughs> I know they're gonna fit when I'm fit and skinny, but are they gonna fit after I eat Chick-fil-A? That's what I need to know. My waist is 29 and a half inches. My bust is 33 and my thigh at the thickest part, my thigh is 24. 24 inches and then my glutes are, my glutes are 40 and a half inches. I wear a medium in all of Alphalete's bottoms. Oh, I see my friend. I wear a medium in all of Alphalete's bottoms and I wear a small in all of the tops. Hold on, I'm distracted. I feel like this collection is very true to size. I feel like I'm a true medium now, honestly. Also, code FRIENDS saves you guys 10% on all of your Alphalete orders and directly supports me too. Um, it's not code Courtney. I know code Courtney is like my code for everything else, for Young LA, for Ghost, but Courtney was already taken by the lovely Courtney King. So with Alphalete, it is code FRIENDS, which I thought was so appropriate because you know I'm always like, hi friends. Oh, I love that. Okay, just so you guys know, code FRIENDS for Alphalete, code Courtney for Young LA and for Ghost. Okay. Okay, let's go through the pieces. So the first thing we're gonna go over is the King Collection. Now the, the King Collection is the epitome of coziness and versatility. We love the big words. Okay, so it is a very teddy bear feel fuzziness. I will say right out of the box, I was expecting it to be softer. Like it is definitely a fuzzy material, but it's not that like, you know when you get some hoodies and they're like so like, soft and they look so cozy, like a cozy blanket. This one is just on the little bit of the like rougher material side, but I think it's so it like keeps up, like it holds up. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can just see everybody walking their dogs outside my window and it's making me want a dog. But it's so cute, little puppy. Tell me this doesn't look adorable. So this is in the color vanilla and this is the cropped hoodie, obviously. And then these are the joggers that go with it. I am such a sucker for joggers that have a drawstring at the bottom. So anytime that we have drawstrings, it's a yes for me. I have a little bit of room in them, but I think it's cause they're also unisex. So you're, 
your eggplant is supposed to go there if you have one. I did get a small in the hoodie. I wish I got a medium just for a little oversized fit. My notes with this though are that the neck hole is super, super small. Like I have a big head. I didn't get a hat when I was a baby. I came out 10 pounds. I came out fully grown, 401k, a credit score, full head of hair. I was the biggest baby in that little baby thingy. <laughs> I don't know, maybe this is just a big people head problem, but see if it passes my test. Actually, it does pass the test. I have to wear my hoodies with my ears out so I can hear without flashing you, I'm not wearing a bra. This is the inside material, so it's like a cottony material. Super cozy just to wear around the house. Oh, it is cute. And then I have these fuzzy slippers that I got from Target too. Wow, this is a whole look. Do you guys see it? <laughs> this is the full length hoodie and this is in the color linen. I love my browns. They do also have a quarter zip. I didn't get the quarter zip just because it's getting really hot here in Arizona or it's starting to, so it's like, I'm not gonna be wearing these that often. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I got this in a small as well. This head hole is a lot smaller than the other one. And the, the hood doesn't fit my head. If you're not a hood gal, then you could get this one. But if you want the hood to fit better, get the crop or get the quarter zip because it doesn't even have a hood. But this hood doesn't, doesn't fit. Moving on to the new Amplify colors. So we have the Revival bra, this is a small, and then the new Ampli, not new, but the new colors in the Amplify shorts. These are the four and a half inch inseam shorts. And then they're also coming in six and a half inseam shorts. Either way, my booty is gonna gobble them up, okay? Shorts roll on me. Like, my booty is like, these are mine. I'm hungry. <laughs> Any brand of shorts I've ever worn, they roll up on me. The roll up is not bad at all. I like the compression. They're not overly tight. I think they're very true to size. I think I'm a true medium now, and I could definitely not wear the smallest. That would be too tight. This color and then the sangria color, 100% squat proof. Oh my God, my legs are sore. Like you're not seeing anything except my big booty. I prefer the four and a half inseam shorts, which is surprising because usually I'm a biker short gal, but I just love the way these fit. I think that it's like the perfect length. Here is the long sleeve crop and then the biker shorts in the full length. I don't know what the heck I did, but there's dirt on these. I don't know. Okay, so let's ignore that. They don't come with these black lines on that. Here are the biker shorts at full length. This is what they look like. This is a squat test. Everyone says the sheer or the lighter colors are really sheer and that's kind of just known. This is not how I wear biker shorts. This is why I prefer the four and a half inseam short. I come up under my booty cheeks a little bit like, like that. I feel like it makes your butt look good when you do that. <laughs> Ow! Can you see? Can you see my booty? I feel like they're, oh, let me put a sticker. This goes sticker. It's gonna be the true test. Oh yeah, you can see that. <laughs> look. Can you see it right there? But I mean, if people can see my butt cheeks, like there's nothing there. I'm wear, I wear a thong. I'm more concerned if you can see a thong mark. But I feel like I also pull my thong up by the thick waistband, so then you're just not gonna see it, you know? Like you don't see it in the front. Overall, a really cute color. Let me take the sticker out of my booty crack. All these shirtless men walking their dogs right now. Anyway, and then this is the crop long sleeve, super cute. I got a small, I think I wish that I got a medium just for a little more room, but I do like a compressive fit. I think it is very true to size. This is my favorite outfit. This is in the color sangria. We have the Stratus crop tank and then we have the Amplify leggings. I don't know why it took me so long to get on the freaking Amplify train. I don't know why you guys didn't tell me this, but they're my new favorite leggings. I wear them all the time. I only got one pair of Amplify Amplify leggings in this collection though, because it's almost summer. I'm a shorts gal in the summer, so I knew that I was gonna wear shorts way more. They make my booty look so good. I am wearing a sports bra. I'm wearing the magenta sports bra underneath because it is very thin, so you're definitely gonna like, you're gonna, you're gonna see headlights in there. I also love tops like this, because I feel like it accentuates your shoulders, so I love to wear tops like this on shoulder day, because I'm just like, yeah, look at my big shoulders. I don't have a shoulder pump right now. Don't look at them right now. I have to stay hydrated <laughs> with a ghost. <laughs> Super squat proof. Honestly, the glue pump in these are, is like, it's insane. It's unreal. I really like the compression on these. It's not overly compressive. I just think truly stay true to size. If anything, do not size down. If I size down to a small, I'd be like a freaking busted can of biscuits when you twist it and then they pop out. That's how it would look. But I just feel like these fit so nicely. It's cute. It's a vibe. When I tell you that this color snuck the heck up on me, I am not a magenta bright pink kind of gal, but I think this color looks so pretty on my skin. I was so shocked, I was so surprised. These are the six inch biker shorts. We got lots of colors to choose from. These ones really, these are squat proof. I would say the only ones that aren't are the light blue ones. What color was that? The mystic blue. Oh, I should try, I have the green. Let me try on the jade color. But sangria squat proof, sapphire squat proof, magenta squat proof, only mystic blue is not squat proof. Let me try the green one on for you really quick. I just realized this is the first time I've tried the jade on and I love it. I, I got it and I was like, eh, green, meh. This just proves you have to just try the clothes on. Yeah, this is cute. And these are the four and a half inseam shorts. 
I just, I like the fit of these better because I just like them to be a little higher up. It feels so earthy, like I need a smoothie. I need to go to Erewhon. <laughs> Yeah, I don't see anything in these. Yeah, I feel like the only ones that aren't squat proof are the Mystic Blue ones, but I think rule of thumb is the lighter you go, the more iffy it could be. I think if you size down, probably you would see more sheerness, but I think because I just literally got my, my size, um, it's not see-through. All right, friends, that's the whole review. Remember, code FRIENDS saves you 10% on all of your orders with Alphalete, and it directly supports me as well. Launch happens this Saturday, April 8th at 12 p.m. Central Time, 10 a.m. Mount Standard Time. I am going to be doing a giveaway. I'm planning on doing the giveaway on Friday. That way I can post the winners on Saturday morning to get their gift card codes. Um, but it will be two gift cards for $100 each. Just to show my gratitude for you guys, that's gonna be on my Instagram, so make sure you go head over there. If you have any questions, drop them down below and I'm so excited for our new spaces. If you made it this far in the video, I love you. I'm so happy to have you here and I can't wait to make more content in my new space. Bam, 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 finger guns. Okay, I hope you guys have a great day and a great week and I will see you all in the next video.